This is Caitlin. Welcome. We're off on a little adventure today. I am going, actually it's not even that far from me. For some reason it won't let me put it into my GPS, but I know where this place is. I've been a couple times. It's called, I'm not going to look at the camera too much if that's okay with y'all because I'm going to pay attention to the road. So, um, yeah, it's called Wiffle Tree. I do have the book here. If anybody wants a quick look. Um, they are online, so if you want to look them up, go ahead. It's an awesome nursery that ships all across, I believe, all across Canada. Um, I'm in Ontario, and it's in Elora, Ontario. Um, but it's a family-run um, business, and they have all sorts of um, fruit trees and bushes and all kinds of stuff like that. They even had some like lavender and day, uh, daylily, like just other plants too that you might be able to, that's where I got my comfrey from. I've gotten many plants from them over the years and they have really nice stuff. I've always had really good luck with it. So that's where I'm going again. I was able to get some of the trees um, that I didn't think I was gonna be able to get, but they restocked. And uh, so I was able to get them. I got notification that I can go pick them up today. I live close enough so I don't get them shipped to me. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And then on my way back, there's a lot of Amish um, greenhouses. So I might stop at a few of them, see what they have. I uh, like going there. They have There's some really awesome greenhouses up in my direction. So I'm very fortunate for that. So it's kind of nice. I'm leaving the farm today. As you can see, I don't have long sleeves on for once and uh, I'm a little white, but <laughs> it's been absolutely crazy this week. Um, we went from like very cold, wet spring to like middle of summer. It felt like for the last seven days, we've not gotten any rain. And it's been like 30 Celsius the last, maybe this is the third day it's been like 30 Celsius. Um, it, it's just crazy. So we've been insanely busy. We've been on the field. Um, my husband's been cultivating. We planted, I think, three different fields of grain at what under seed of grass so we do that in a rotation so that we have um, hay fields because uh, we feed a lot of fodders um, grasses to our animals um, so yeah so after we cultivate it we, they plant it and uh, last night we were even picking stones which is like the worst job in the world I hate picking stones but it has to be done so we've been busy doing that and like that's just farm related and then my farm related stuff I mean like there's plants that need up potting there's plants that need to be planted it's just constant the amount of stuff that has to get done you know how it is in spring so there's all that and then yesterday also was my anniversary me and my husband have been married for 15 years so I'm gonna be show you a picture right up here So, happy anniversary to us. We were in the field picking stones. <laughs> I guess that's what happens after 15 years. You start, you don't go away anymore. We just stay at home and pick stones. And uh, also yesterday, my dog, who we knew was bred because I purposely got her bred. She has a breeding contract. Um, she had her puppies yesterday. So that was like my anniversary gift. Um, so that was pretty awesome. So far everybody's healthy um, and hopefully give it about a few more days and they'll be a little bit bigger and older and maybe I can take a few uh, pictures of them and show you guys because they are absolutely adorable. They are purebred. It's getting hot in here so I'm just going to turn the air on a wee bit. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, they're purebred Shelties so that's exciting as well. Anyways, so off we go on this little adventure. We're going to go up to Alora and get me some plants that I can hopefully show you guys and maybe you'll be find it interesting and uh, maybe you'll see some things along the way too that you might like. I hope you guys stick with me. Um, 
also for anybody that's just new here or been watching a few of my other videos please like the videos that's always uh, helpful for my channel and also please press that subscribe button it's totally free you don't have to pay for anything but it helps me out a lot and uh, hopefully I can continue building this channel and making it a little bit something more I hope you enjoy I was just there you can see maybe some of the plants back there um, unfortunately one of my plants wasn't in yet um, they actually are bringing that one in because it's a citrus um, and I'm excited for that because that's gonna be kind of cool something different we'll see how it works out for me um, so yeah I'll have to come back maybe they said it's gonna be ready next week so I will give them a call just to make sure it's there and then I will come and grab that plant as well but other than that I got everything else I got um, some new things to go around my trees um, and if anybody else is having this problem and I do have this problem we were just talking a little bit me and owner how um, if you use those spiral um, things to protect your trees sometimes you can get like moisture underneath there and there's like bug can have some bug problems and some even some rot almost um, I've had that and so I was very interested in this new product it had it's just more breathable and so they said that they're not finding that they're having that problem so I picked up some of those up I'll be putting those on some of my trees that I have already and uh, hopefully that will fix that problem um, anyways 
One thing I found really interesting, me and the owner were talking for a little while, it's always good to talk, stop and talk a little bit, just so that you can catch these little things. You keep your ear to the ground kind of thing, right? Um, make sure you're listening to the what's going on. So the, the owner, ooh. Where are you going? You fell down. All right, we're back. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And apparently I didn't have my clamp on good enough. Um, anyways, so yeah, like I was saying, keep your ear to the ground, listen to what people are saying. This guy was telling me how, you know, we all went through some interesting times the last years and we were just reminiscing about how I, we couldn't get some plants the last two years and how everything's busier due to the fact that people are actually gardening, which is great, that's awesome, I love that. But, um, the problem with it is, last, and he said, last, sorry, I was watching where I'm supposed to go here. The problem with coming up, even if the world stays in a good place, we don't go into, um, back into COVID times, um, he was saying that unfortunately last summer there was no workers to be in the fields because we couldn't get the foreign uh, workers to come and do grafting. This is interesting, you know. So there was nobody to come work the fields. There was nobody to get those jobs done, the grafting. And he said, it doesn't matter for this year, but next year, you're always, I'm going to lose you again. Next year, they will, he said, actually this fall, they'll be digging, would, would be, would be, but there aren't down there, digging those plants that should have been grafted last year that there was no uh, workers to do. So, next year, he said, there's not going to be the plants, the trees, the bushes, well, maybe not bushes because it was the grafting ones especially, will not be there for sale for next year. He said there will be a definite shortage next year of plants, of a lot of things. So if you are thinking that you want to add trees to your gardens and you want to put it off, I suggest maybe not. Um, if you can and you can afford it, um, I suggest maybe thinking about looking. Hopefully you can find some this year yet and it's plenty early enough yet this year that you can get them and put them in the ground. So I don't know, that's just a little side note I thought was quite interesting. Um, yeah, I never even thought of there was no workers last year. We couldn't bring in workers because of the current events and uh, those little jobs that have to get done were not getting done. So anyways, found that interesting. I'm off, I'm going a different direction and maybe I will pop into a few greenhouses, see what I can find and maybe I can show you as well. Okay, so here we go. This is the beginning of my orchard haul of plants that I've got for this year to add. Um, we're gonna start over here. I got these at a greenhouse. Some of these are totally new to me. A loganberry, it looks kinda cool. And then I was able to pick up two thornless blackberries. So they were a good size and good price and they're thornless which I liked so I thought I might try those. That was at a nursery so that's at a different place. 
So there's three different places that I purchased from. So some of the next things I'm going to show you is the place I just was at was that Wiffle Tree. They send along a booklet planting for success. So that's awesome if you don't know anything about planting. That's really helpful. So in this package here, it's all wrapped up real nice and tight. There is, I believe, I think I'm just going to double check. Um, I think there's two or three different varieties of currants in here. So there's That's a white currant, white berries. And these ones are pink. And I think I maybe got more of, maybe there's only two. I have to look for sure what I got. I can't remember for sure what I got, but I got two different types of currants because I own no current plants. This big guy right here is another peach tree. I really wanted to add another peach tree. I only have one in my garden. So this is Madison, um, it's a semi-dwarf, self-fertilizing, I do have one other peach, so that's always better. Um, it says hardy, so I'm hoping that one will do well. It's a very nice height, guys, they come really nice if you order from Wiffle Tree. Um, this is also from Wiffle Tree, this is not something they grew, I'm assuming, because it is um, a proven winner. Group and winners is a good source of plants. Um, details are inside. It's a ground hug. And it's a type of berry. It's called an Aronica berry. So I'm not sure a lot about this yet. I'm just reading. Comes autumn, the leaves blaze orange and red. Okay, so we'll see what that one is like in the future. I just wanted to try another type of plant. This guy, I just got from them as well, is a fig. Super, super excited for this. Now that I have my greenhouse, this is Chicago Hardy. This is one of their more hardy ones. That's why I went with that. But it still says zone 6-7. So I thought, and I was talking to the owners, and they said, I have a greenhouse, and it didn't get down to real cold last winter, so I'm hoping that I bought these pots, and I'm going to put it in a pot. I might eventually have to pot it up, but they're pretty nice sized pots. And uh, if it gets really cold, I'll have to maybe bring it inside, but I'm hoping I can keep this in my greenhouse over winter. So that would be really cool. And then I also bought a pot, a secondary pot, because next week, like I said, I have to go back and pick up my citrus plant. Um, I will tell you about that in another time. And then, oh, I was said I bought these things. So there's six in this roll. And as you can see, I'll just try to pull, see how it's like, it's like a mesh. So I'm going to try this around my trees and see how I like that. It's like a plasticky material, I would say. Um, so, yeah, I think that might be the way I might go, just because it looks like it has a lot more holes, more breathability. Hopefully we don't get the bug problem like I have had. So, and then my Vessi seed, um, I had ordered a few plants from them, and they just came actually, I think it was yesterday in the mail. So... Um, I got another blackberry. They're both Chester. And I don't know if they're thornless. I'm not feeling anything, but that doesn't mean anything. They're quite small. And so they are. They're not real big. And they're nothing like those ones that I got over there. So I'm kind of glad I got both. And we'll see how they do. And uh, see what does better. The other variety was black satin. Also, I got this guy. This is green sleeve apple. It's just a little slip. It's not potted, obviously, so it's bare root. Um, it's not real big. I would say we'll see how it does. I'm hoping for good things. 
honestly, they're expensive. If you guys go to Wiffle Tree, their trees are actually very reasonable, and you get a good size tree. This one's bare root. Some of them are potted, but a lot are bare root as well. And I've always had good success with their plants. So that's it. That's my little haul. Stopped at a greenhouse, got a few little things, nothing too exciting. And uh, I just ran out of time, basically. I have a lot to get done around here. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic day.